Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad up to touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your first option where it says your name or your device's name. Make a backup in there using your iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, don't worry about it. Hook up your iPhone iPad up to touch to your computer. You can back it up using iTunes on PC and on Mac, you can just use Finder in order to do that. Also, if you're having any problems, you can also use your computer in order to update it. Anyways, down here below, if you don't see as your second option software update available, don't worry about it. Just keep scrolling down and you're going to see general. Under general, your second option will say software update. And then from here, we're going to see the latest update, which is 15.3. So at this point in time, we can just tap on download and install. It will ask you for a passcode if you have one. And right now, it's just going to download it. After the downloading is done, yes it's gonna install it now during the download process doesn't matter if your iphone ipad up touch just turns off for any reason no it doesn't um but however once it starts installing it then it's a huge deal so that's why i recommend even if you have 90 percent of your battery hook it up to some electricity so that way it's charging while you're making any updates. Do you need to do a backup before running any updates? You don't. It's just a safety precaution. Just in case something happens and you wanna go back, you can always do that. You can always just load your content back into your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now remember, it doesn't really matter what device you guys have, it's exact same tutorial for all of them. I also wanna mention that only the latest iPod Touch can actually be updated to iOS 15. No other iPod Touch can do that. Now, how long will this update take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed plus how old your device is. So older devices do run a little bit slower. However, with the download process, that's all up to your internet speed. At this point in time, you could technically leave your iPhone iPod Touch, just let it be, it's gonna install the update by itself, or you can come back to it later on and just tap install, where it's just gonna restart your phone. We're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then we're just gonna be done with the update. Anyways, for now, we're just gonna leave it alone and let it download the update. All right, so if you left your iPhone iPad up touch alone, it would have just restarted by itself. So it would have done a five second or 10 second countdown, and then it would have just restart. You would have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar, that would be kind of slow. And then we're gonna see that again, another Apple logo and a loading bar. This time it's gonna go a lot faster and then finally, we're gonna be done with the update. And here we go, that's it. We're done with the update, we can just scroll up. We're gonna log in and that would be it. Again, it's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. If you don't, then you can just log in and you're all done. You can also check out if everything went okay, just go into general, software update. And right now it should tell us that we're all up to date. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.